Today we're going to learn how to create a smoke trail like this in After Effects. The best method I've come across for creating smoke trails is using a particle emitter. And in this case I achieved the best results from the effect Particle Systems 2. So to learn how to use it to create a smoky trail, we're going to start with this animation. I've set up this planet layer as well as an outer circle with a wave warp on it that is being used as a mat for this gradient. And you'll see why I set it up like this a little bit later. But for now, let's drop in a solid by going to Layer, New, Solid, name it Emitter, make sure it's your comp size, and hit OK. Now let's move it to the bottom and add the Particle Systems 2 effect. There are many different options within this effect, but we're going to start with the Producer and look at Position, which controls where the particles emit from. I'll click to add an expression and pick whip the position of the movement null. And now the particles are following the planet. Let's also look at the radius x and y, which determines how small the emitter is. And let's reduce them both to zero because we want everything coming from a single point. Now let's go to the particle settings and change the type from a line to lens convex, change the max opacity to 100 and the opacity map to constant. Let's change the size variation to 10%, the death size to zero and the birth size to 0 0.9. Now for the physics, because this is where things get really interesting and fun. So let's set our animation to fire. And the cool thing about the fire setting is that the gravity is automatically reversed. So the particles rise upwards, just like smoke would. The gravity is a bit too intense right now. So we're gonna increase the resistance to 100 and already that's starting to feel pretty cool. Now we're going to adjust the birth rate to one and set the longevity to 1.5. And a good way to think about these properties is that birth rate controls the density of particles, as you can see, and longevity in this case determines the length of your trail. So the higher the longevity, the longer the trail and vice versa. Now this is looking pretty dope already, but if we come to our gradient overlay and copy the gradient ram from there to our emitter layer, we can add color across our trail and it just looks really nice. But we're not done yet because we can add some spicy little details by duplicating our emitter layer and adjusting some settings. So for starters, let's change our birth rate to 0.2 and our longevity to two change our producer radius to eight on the X and the Y, and finally go down to our particle and change our birth size to 0.2. Now we have some cool little offshoots that add some complexity and visual interest to our animation. Now this next step is the holy grail of smoke as well as liquid animation. But before we go on, I'd love it if you liked this video if you found it interesting so far. Let's drop in an adjustment layer and move it below our planet circle. Then add a fast box blur and set it to five. Let's also add a levels effect, change the channel to alpha and crank in both sides like this. Doing this makes the edges a bit choppy. So to fix this, we can add a rough and edges effect, take the fractal influence down to zero, drop the edge sharpness down to 0.4 and that just cleans it up really nicely. And you can probably see why this effect is used in liquid and smoke animation with the way it merges objects and creates these organic separations. Now we can add a bit more style to this by duplicating our null, moving it to the top, parenting our planet circle to it, and pre-composing the rest of the layers. This allows us to add some layer styles, like an inner shadow. So let's change the color, set the opacity to 100, change the angle to 300, and set the size to 30. We can also add an inner glow, set the opacity to 50%, change the source to center, and the size to 100. And this is what you get. For all the extra frills, you can grab the final project files, link in description. And if you've seen how powerful particle emitters can be, I've added links to two of Jake Bartlett's tutorials, which go into way more detail about how they work, so you can deepen your knowledge. Thanks for watching, and as usual, hit subscribe to gain more motion XP.